Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow weather junkies. I'm your host, meteorologist Greg Majeski, your personal weatherman here, bringing you the weather without all that social media hype here on your Saturday, January 18th, 2025. Let's take a look at what we're tracking here for today as the bitterly cold air is arriving across the country for this weekend. And that's going to set up the cards for a very historic potential here across the deep south. Yeah, we're talking about a southern snowstorm and snows falling in places where it's not supposed to. We're going to show you the latest on that as well. And then finally, we'll take a look at the next couple of weeks to see if there's any uh, significant change in the overall weather pattern. Obviously, the perhaps help the firefighting efforts there in Southern California. Now, before we get into this report, first, I want to thank the new subscribers to the channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, what you're waiting for, my friend, a personal invitation. Please hit that subscribe button at this time. It'd be an honor and a privilege to have you on board here as part of our family. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at our satellite imageries. We got this East Coast storm system, mostly rains, a little bit of wintery mix here across areas of the Great Lakes into New York, but generally rains here across the south. The bitterly cold air coming here across the high plains, a little bit of snow with this. And some of this energy here is going to kind of dive in here to bring in some snows into the northeast as we go through the weekend. Of course, the west coast, big ridge out here, high pressure and control, unfortunately. Nothing to help the fighting fighting efforts there in Los Angeles. We'll take a look at the long range next couple of weeks on the European to see if we get anything coming our way there to help out. Now, watches and warnings currently here for today. Here's something you don't see every day. This is the historic part of this. Winter storm watches up here across portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, and a Texas Gulf Coast. That's just un unreal to see something like this. We've got a little bit of winter weather here across Colorado, and of course, we got some that's going to be heading up into the northeast there, as we do have the winter storm watches there heading up into the northeast. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our current surface map right now. We've got the rains across the southeast. We get a little bit of a mix there across the Great Lakes. We've got some snows here across portions of Colorado and into areas of Kansas. And this little piece of energy is going to kind of dive that way. So you got one going out and then another one falling behind it. That's going to bring in some snows into the New England area as we head into your Sunday. Let's go ahead and focus in on some of this heavy rain down here toward the south. We got some rains here across portions of central Georgia. Pretty good downpours coming in toward Columbus as well and moving in toward Augusta. And because it did get a little bit milder out ahead of this next system, there could be a few thunderstorms with this as well. So I do want to show you the latest from the Storms Prediction Center. We do have a marginal risk for severe weather here for today. Not high, but it's there. We do have that marginal risk. So we're talking about this area down here into the Florida Panhandle. So that is going to in parts of South Georgia, a little sliver there of Alabama here for your day one outlook. That does include a very low risk for tornadoes today. Again, we're talking about a 2% chance here for today. So here's your tornado risk here for today. Again, in that same marginal zone uh, for the most part. And that also includes a higher wind risk as well uh, for today. Now, as far as their day two, this is going to shift down into the central portions of Florida for that uh, marginal risk kind of shifts down there toward the south. So you can kind of see there. So we're talking about areas around Orlando, Tampa, uh, looking at a marginal risk for severe weather uh, heading into tomorrow, going into your Sunday. Now, as far as the heavy rain for today, this is only the, uh, day one here is showing excessive rainfall. That's the only one, the only day to really worry about here. We're talking about South Georgia and parts of Florida here with uh, maybe some isolated flooding uh, with some of those thunderstorms as they move through the area. The big news story here, though, for today is obviously the fact that we got this bitterly cold uh, air coming in across the country. The three to seven day outlook is showing a clear uh, big zone of some very cold uh, temperatures. And what's interesting, I can't remember the last time I saw something like this, freezing rain and snow down on the Gulf Coast. That's just unbelievable to see. And unfortunately, in the three to seven day, we also have the uh, high winds out there in Southern California, which is obviously a bad thing with the fighting fight efforts going on out there. So let's go ahead and take a look first at the short term model. We're gonna look at the high resolution model here, kind of taking here, uh, going in towards Sunday uh, at midnight, okay? Through the, through basically going you through the weekend. So a couple of things we're gonna watch. We got the rains here that's gonna be exiting on out. We got this piece of energy here, kind of diving in behind it, that's gonna set off some additional snows here across New England. So that's really where all the action's gonna be here as we go through the weekend. So again, watch that timestamp there in the upper right hand corner as this kind of goes on by here. Uh, we'll see the rain kind of exiting the east coast there, some snows there across New England. And again, as this piece of energy that comes out of Colorado kind of moves in here across Tennessee and into uh, Kentucky, it's going to spawn an area of low that's going to kind of fire up the snows there going into New England. Watch this. We get the lows kind of formed there, and we get some pretty good snows here uh, going into late in the afternoon there on Sunday. So I'll have to watch to see how the major cities do on this. It's going to be pretty close. Uh, Boston into New York there as this cold air dives in behind this system. Even little snows here showing up here. Uh, flurries going in late in the day on Sunday across portions of Alabama potentially here and this moves on out 
and moves up into uh, Maine as we go into your Sunday night and going into midnight starts to exit. So as we go into Monday, it'll be fairly quiet on Monday, but then we're going to watch how things develop with that next system as some energy is going to dive here out of the, the out of the Rockies and along the Gulf Coast here. And that's going to be setting up some uh, some very interesting weather. That's the best way I could describe this uh, going into your Tuesday. So let's look at the jet stream pattern here. Uh, that's really been the big driving effort for all this cold air that's diving on down here through the weekend. Uh, there you got your, your polar low sitting way down here. It's displaced because we've had warming in the polar region. So we got a weak polar jet stream. It's not able to lock that low in place. So it's, it's kind of wobbling back and forth and kind of dropping into the continent of the United States over and over again. And that pattern looks like it's going to continue here uh, for the month. So we got this cold air coming on in. And then we're going to watch this energy coming in toward Tuesday. So you see this, this bit of energy here uh, diving down toward the south. There's going to be some upper level energy here as well, diving in from the west. It's going to drive in that snow across the deep south going in through Tuesday and Wednesday. And it exits on out. But overall, as we look over to the next seven days, we got another shot coming down here uh, going into Thursday and Friday uh, coming in here across the south. And then we get maybe a little bit of a reprieve going into Sunday maybe a little bit but it looks like that's temporary uh this is a part of, i'll watch this closely maybe this will bring some rain into areas of the uh southern california as we go into early next week we'll see if that works out or not but again that cold pattern reestablishes itself right going in toward the 30th here once again uh there look there's our low once again here's our cold temperatures coming back at us so it looks like we're going to finish uh most of the country with below normal temperatures as we wrap up the month of january and head in toward early february so it looks like the cold pattern uh, will continue. Let's talk about the precipitation. Let's go and break this down for you here as we're looking at the European as we're going to watch say goodbye to that system again. We got that snows there across New England and heading into Sunday. We just tracked that. So what we're going to watch here is this energy here. This is the stuff back here and a little bit of subtropical that's going to come in here as these two air masses are bumping into each other. Remember that cold air mass is very, it's, it's heavy. It's going to undercut anything milder out ahead of it and where they kind of overlap a little bit uh, that's where we're going to see this, this potential snow event kind of break out across the south. Look what happens here as that energy dives down south into Texas. So by Tuesday morning, we're erupting here the snow and freezing rain down in Houston. We're talking snow getting into areas like New Orleans. I mean, that's just unreal to see something like this. And this tracks along the Gulf Coast here. So we're looking at snows all across the deep south, snows into the Florida panhandle. I'll say the last time I saw snow like in Pensacola, Florida was in December 1989. So when I throw the word historic around, I'm not just making it up. It's definitely something uh, uh, unprecedented here with this snow. And even freezing rain. I mean, look at this. Freezing rain getting here into northern Florida. That's un unreal to see that uh, going into Wednesday morning. And then the snowstorm begins to move on out. And we'll see that it's kind of clear on out of here. And then we got some quiet weather for the rest of the week. But we do have another cold shot coming down here. Now, the Europeans doing something interesting here on Friday. You'll have to watch closely to see if this comes to fruition or not. There's another little upper disturbance that slides into the southeast once again. And uh, looking at look at that, snow's coming back in across Alabama and Georgia going into Friday and Saturday. So uh, that'll be something to watch heading into next week. And that pulls on out. And then we get a brief warm. I get, you notice the 540 line is back here to the north a little bit. And then uh, look at this, upper level low down here across Southern California. That's a good thing going into next Sunday because what that means is cooler temperatures and maybe a threat of rain here across areas of Los Angeles uh, going in toward the following Sunday. So let's cross our fingers and hopes that holds, uh, holds true going into uh, next weekend. All right, so as this goes on by here, again, we get another plunge. Here comes another plunge coming in here as we head toward the Tuesday the 28th. Here's some snows breaking out, snows across the Great Lakes. Uh, got some more rain here across the southeast once again, but that cold air, it's making a beeline once again. Here it comes, boom. And look at that, another winter potential event here going in toward the 29th of January. So this cold pattern continues. Here's another southern snow, uh, southern freezing rain mess potentially going into later into the month. Obviously, this far out, subject to change, anything beyond 10 days, 7 to 10 days, obviously. But uh, we're going to look at forecast trends, and we'll see if that maintains. But uh, the cold air settles right into the end of the month. So on the 31st, here once again, we got this very established pattern. There's the that uh, uh, polar vortex once again, just rotating down across the Great Lakes as we continue these cold shots continually coming into the United States as we finish up the month of January and going into the month of February. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the snow here. This is the big part of this thing, that's for sure. Our precipita uh, the snow, we're gonna talk about this here. Not gonna worry about the precipitation. We're gonna talk about snow here, okay? So we got snows here for the uh, for this upcoming weekend. We got the snows here across New England here for that low that's gonna regenerate here going into Sunday with that energy kicking out of the 
of the Rockies here. And then we're going to watch that southern storm kick in here. Look at this one. Boom, boom. I mean, we're talking snows right across Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. Uh, again, areas that just don't normally see it. And we can go to the southeast here, and you can see this uh, very well. I mean, look at this. We're talking snows in and around New Orleans. Uh, five inches? I mean, that's unreal. Around Houston, just north of Houston, two to three inches in there. A uh, pretty good swath of th two to four inches of snow here across the Florida Panhandle, South Georgia. Looks like just a light dusting across North Georgia on the European model right now. But of course, the track of that load is going to be critical there. If it adjusts going north or south, that can make all the difference in the world of where that snow is going to fall. But this is definitely historical when you see snows all the way into the Gulf Coast here from Panama City over to Pensacola. It's just unbelievable to see as this goes on out here uh, going into Wednesday. Should be finishing up there along the Carolina coast. So uh, a, a Myrtle Beach, a uh, right beach getting in snow. It's just unbelievable to see that. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the temperature part of this thing. Well, first freezing rain, getting ahead of myself. I also wanted to point this part out. You got freezing rain there across portions of Florida uh, going into Wednesday morning. So uh, up to a half inch, that could cause some problems. Uh, obviously, power outages could be an issue there across portions of North Florida from, say, Tallahassee getting over toward Jacksonville, uh, potentially getting into some freezing rain there uh, going into Tuesday and Wednesday this upcoming week. So we're talking about the, the 22nd of January. All right. Temperatures is the big part of this, obviously. You notice this color hue in here? This, in my friends, is all below zero. This is below zero temperatures uh, uh, parking out here across portions of the United States. So Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be quite cold here. Uh, look at the north central here. We're talking a lot of temperatures uh, here, sitting here uh, quite nippy. So we're talking about temperatures here into 29, 30 below zero here. Uh, and if you factor in the wind chills on this, you can just imagine what the feel like temperatures are going to be here. Let's look at the apparent temperatures here. Yeah, we're talking wind chills here, uh, 40 to 50 below zero here up in the high plains. Just give me an idea of the overall coldness of this air mass that's coming on down here. Uh, across the United States. And this will also go into other areas as well. So when you look, look back here at the continental United States, uh, you're talking about below zero windshields here, getting all the way down to North Georgia and Alabama. So look at look at how much of the country is going to have windshields sitting at below zero. And that pink hue is 40 to 50 degrees below zero windshields. So the air mass is going to have a real big bite to it. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the temperature anomaly forecast map here. Uh, again, we're going to say goodbye to this red. You're going away, that's for sure, as this cold Arctic air invasion comes on in across the country here. Again, that purple that you're seeing is, is uh, temperatures running 30 degrees below normal for this time of year. That's going to be setting up here uh, going into your Tuesday morning. So I'll stop it here on Tuesday morning here. I'll look here across the Great Lakes and across areas of the Ohio River Valley into the northeast. Uh, obviously around Minnesota, Wisconsin, looking around uh, Kansas and into Missouri. Uh, quite, quite cold, quite nippy there on your Tuesday. And as we continue to go on through, this is going to continue to be uh, right there uh, straight in through the week. So it goes into Wednesday and uh, that moves on out. Then we got slight moderation there across the high plains there going into the 24th. We saw that coming, but we know there's another shot coming down ahead of it. Typically, you'll get a brief warm up between cold shots. And we got another one coming down here behind this one. So here it comes. Uh, going into the 28th, here comes another shot coming down here. That's a pretty sharp cold front there, my friend. You can see that right through there as that cold air comes in here through the 28th and 29th of January. And this moves on out. And look, look at a lot of the country here on the 30th here, looking at uh, below normal temperatures from coast to coast, except for Florida. You want to warm up? They got, they got, they're above normal down there. They're a little red down there, but most of the country quite cold. We'll take this out to the end of the run here a little bit. Again, still looking quite cold there across the Great Lakes into the northeast going into the 1st. And looks like maybe slightly milder here on the west coast. But again, most of the country stays with the below normal weather pattern continuing straight in through the end of the month. So let's look at the latest from the Climate Prediction Center. See if that kind of lines up with what we're seeing here. Again, going out from January 23rd through the 27th. Uh, Pretty much a lot of the country looking at below normal temperatures, except for Alaska. Obviously, when you get a cold dump like that, they typically are milder as a result. And that'll continue to the 25th to the 31st with a lot of the country here looking at below normal temperatures. Again, we did show you that brief warm up there across Florida. That's kind of indication of that, uh, to, to, to that period, the 25th through the 31st. Precipitation wise, it is going to get a little more active here. And because of that, we, as we saw, I think we're going to at least three separate potential winter weather events here across the south because we got below normal temperatures and we have rain chances to throw on top of that. So that's going to continue to be a bit of an issue here with the cold weather here and the precipitation chances continuing. And that continues as well going January 25th through the 31st. So 
Uh, again, looks like we're at least going to see the weather pattern changing enough to where the dry conditions that have been kind of plaguing a lot of the country for the month of January will begin to change a little bit as we wrap up the month. So the cold weather pattern, my friends, is going to continue. And I'm going to tell you right now, I, I saw the um, saw the outlook for February from the Climate Prediction Center. I kind of disagree with it. That's why I'm not showing it. Uh, we're showing maybe some above normal temperatures coming back into the southeast and areas like that. But I tell you, as long as that polar vortex keeps doing those wobbly whoop circles, and, and right now every model is continuing to show that right to the end of the month, I think that continues into February. We'll see. We'll see if that changes as we get a little bit uh, closer and, and, and wrap up the month. But we got a very busy week ahead, an historic winter storm that's going to be hitting the deep south uh, from Houston, Texas, over to New Orleans, over to Mobile, Pensacola, over to Jacksonville. Just unprecedented uh, winter storm that we're going to see here. And we got a couple more in the offing. So if you'd like to stay up on the latest on the ever-changing winter conditions, and boy, they can change every day. That's for sure. If you want to stay on top of that, I personally invite you to please subscribe to the channel. Help support us as best you can. Uh, again, hit that notification bell so you learn about future content. And if you like what you see, please leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate your support. All right, that's your morning update here for your Saturday. You guys take it easy. Be good, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.